Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining me today. Um, today, we are just going to be making a super simple soap. Um, so my husband has been asking me for his own personal soap and, um, yeah, I thought I would, um, go ahead and make one for him. He currently typically uses Irish spring. Um, so he wants something simple like that. Um, and that's what we're going to do. The fra he chose out the fragrance and the color. Um, the fragrance he chose is this green clover and aloe from Nature's Garden. It does smell really, really good. I have unfortunately heard some bad things about this accelerating, possibly seizing soap. Um, so that's why I told him to keep it simple on the colors. Um, the color he has chosen is this blue. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know what this color is. Um, I believe it is from Nurture Soap. Um, it might be like some ocean blue mica or something um, like that. I will go ahead and link it in the box below um, for you guys to look that one up. So that's all it is. It's just going to be this blue color, um, solid color. Um, yeah, that's it. I might decorate the top maybe with like a gold sprinkle, but I don't know. He's a dude. He doesn't want glitter, no glitter. So anyway, um, my favorite method of soaping, which I'm sorry, it has been a while since I've soaped. Um, I got married in the past year. I moved in the past year. Um, so now I'm in my new apartment. That's why things are kind of looking weird right now. I'm trying to figure out, um, where I can soap. I'm currently in my kitchen right now. Um, this is probably not going to be a permanent spot, but for the time being, this works. Um, I have weighed out all my oils, um, in the big pot, I have coconut and palm um, in the little liquid. So um, I have olive oil, avocado oil, and castor oil in this one. Um, and then my favorite method is the heat transfer method. So that's why I have my water measured out here and then my lye is right here. So what we're gonna do, just mix the lye in with the water, stir it up, until it gets clear and then we're going to pour it into our hard oils here for those to melt. Um, one thing I am going to do actually before we do that, because it is going to be a single color soap, I'm actually just going to take my mica, which this is one tablespoon of this blue mica. We're going to put it in the liquid oils and then mix that up. I'm going to stand back a little bit just because of the live fumes. Um, I am probably bad or people might consider me a bad soap maker. I don't use a mask or a respirator. Um, I usually pour my lye in and then I step back. I'm kind of at arm's length and I stir it until it's clear. So that's what I'm going to do now.
So I can see the bottom in there. I'm gonna call this ready. Um, spoon went into the soap dishes and then we're gonna go ahead and pour this over my coconut oil and palm oil here. and mix my liquid oils in. I'm gonna give it a stir. Just if any of that mica settled on the bottom, I do wanna go ahead and pick it up. That looks so gorgeous. I love it. I've blended it quite a bit. Um, there is quite a bit of olive oil on this, so it is still pretty fluid, which is what I wanted. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the stick blender off. And then never good at burping my stick blender. I always get bubbles in, in there. So I am just going to go ahead and stir this a bit. Hopefully get some of those bubbles out of there. Um, scrape off my stick blender. Oh, with this fragrance oil, I do not know. I have never used this before. This could be a fail. Um, like I said, I have heard pretty bad things about this. So I'm going to pour this in, stir it as fast as I can, pour it in the mold. Okay. We're going to go for it. I'm nervous. I'm super nervous. Don't do anything weird to my soap. bad as I was expecting. Got 
Gosh, I'm wondering if I should stick fund it. Okay, actually it's playing pretty nice. Um, I am not going to mess around with it though much. Anyway, that actually is a very nice consistency. Very nice, very nice. Now one thing though, I'm kind of disappointed about that fragrance is kind of light smelling. So I am going to just let this sit for a while. I'm gonna pile, so my leftover batter here, I'm gonna pile this on top of here when it gets a little thicker. Um, I'm gonna spoon it on the top here and kind of have it blobby on the top. Um, but that's probably gonna be maybe about 10 minutes or so. Um, I am gonna just kind of keep stirring this. <laughs> I'm actually super happy so far, yay! But yeah, we'll be back. So I'll be back in a few minutes. See you. Hello, um, okay. So I'm back, this has been sitting it's probably been about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Um, I'm thinking this is okay to start um, plopping on the top. I've been kind of testing it like on the side, kind of going like this, see how much would withstand on top of it. And it looks pretty good. So that's what we're gonna do on this. Thank you. 
I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Um, that's the way it is going to stay. Go ahead and spray it with a lot of rubbing alcohol. <laughs> and we're going to put it to bed and we'll cut it in a day or so. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Bye. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next few seconds for the cutting. Okay. Here's the soap the next day. So I am kind of sad. Um, I did get a little bit of a stress crack right here. Um, I don't know. It's okay though. It doesn't seem that big um, and not that deep. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. But let's go ahead and get this out of the mold. Are going to cut this so I'm pretty sure I have this set up as an inch We knew exactly that's what it was going to look like. Although you can actually kind of see a little line from where the soap was right here. That's interesting about how this soap is a little bit darker than the top part. Okay, thank you so much for watching me make my husband's aloe and clover soap. Um, I ended up with about nine and two thirds bars of soap. This is probably the first one I'll give him to play with and to use. Um, the other ones will go ahead and cure and um, He'll use them when he wants. So thank you so much for watching and see you guys later. Bye!